previously on Made in America. This week is all about the camera. I'm in here to win it. Joe's been doing improv for 17 years now. I can never sleep. Have you guys ever thought about? I took charge to help Amina. Oh my god. This is a movie set. We're going to jail. Action. Are you sorry if I'm freaked out? You can't get out. There's a toilet. I'm gonna see you poop. The winner this week is. Oh I'm Nina Davalori, and this is Made in America. Six South Asian women will spend 10 weeks honing and crafting the skills to compete in the grand finale. So Nina texted Ahana to meet us at Venice Beach at one of the lifeguard towers. So what you love, like the smell of the ocean? We pull up and we hit Venice Beach, which is actually one of my favorite places. Everyone actually really likes it. It's a different area of LA, so I really enjoyed it. It was such a nice day outside, so, and we were all wearing shorts and dressed like to go to the beach, so it was so nice to walk and just feel the breeze. Really nice. Nice. Nina told me for us to meet at this address, but she said past the second tower. So we're looking around, and we don't really know what to expect, but so far we're enjoying the, you know, the stores and the vibe and the people. I want to go in this store with all the t-shirts. I definitely want to get that for my room. Oh, I see the second tower, guys. It's over there. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the beach, ladies. Thanks. Hi. So this is swimsuit week, and I thought, what better way to start off swimsuit week than, of course, the beach. But before we get into that, we're gonna get into some little healthy competition. Up until now, you've worked on networking and individual competition, but this week is all about pushing each other and pushing yourselves. Today's gonna be super fun. If you look behind you, you'll see your first challenge, a game of beach volleyball. Oh. Okay. The point of this challenge is that regardless of who's on your team, you have to work together. Mm -hmm. And if someone is not necessarily strongest, your teammates really have to encourage you and help you and maybe pick up a little bit of your slack. I've never really played volleyball before. I think most of the girls, including myself, just aren't too great at volleyball or we haven't played in years. I'm going to let you go ahead and choose your own teams, three on three. A team. Well, we have three. Yeah. Okay, let's head over. We all had pretty similar memories from gym class in high school. I remember getting hit by the volleyball a few times. So when Nina announced that our first challenge was gonna be a volleyball competition, I was so nervous. The rules are pretty simple. The first team to three points wins. And if the ball touches the ground, that's the point. I gave the girls a fair warning. Like, listen, if you get hit in the head by me, I'm sorry. Let's get started. First couple of serves weren't so hot. Ready? Alrighty. Ah! Fire. Ah! Oh. It went up. I hate sports. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. You can tell when Priya Darshini just wants to win. I could tell Priya Darshini was kind of looking like, should I do it? Should I take the place? I realized, no, let me just teach Rindy like what to do. I was fully supportive of her. I'm like, do you want me to help or do you want to do it yourself? She said, I want to try it. I'm like, then you go for it. Ah! 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 After I told her it works, so I was like, yay, teamwork. This is match point. Yay, I 
Didi Ahana and Amina won the game. I thought it was a lot of fun. It wasn't about winning the game, it was about being there for each other. Well, we have your next challenge for you, and as you can see, we're gonna have a little more fun with it. So behind me, you see an obstacle course. This is going to be a three-legged race. <laughs> so we're gonna break you up into three teams. So basically, you're just going to have to start from the beginning, weave through all the cones, and the team that finishes first is the winner of this challenge. I have like no hand-eye coordination. <laughs> How am I gonna do this when there's another person attached to me? Ready, set, go! The three-legged race really forces you to work together with someone because you have to be in sync. I thought the best way for us both to be in sync was to keep saying in out out loud so that we can know which leg to use and it worked. That was so funny! This did not work. I tried to laughing. We're laughing. Bad. Again. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> oh, Hannah was like, if we can't walk, we'll just crawl to the finish line. Oh, sure. All right, good good like a <laughs> <laughs> Hannah kept saying before, like, no one should steal our strategy. Like, we have a really good one of winning. We tried to walk and we kept falling over. So then we thought it might be a good idea to just start on the ground and crawl as fast as we could. <laughs> Boy, you guys so it sounded like a good Strategy at the time, okay? Good job, guys. You guys, it was, it was fun. We're crawling away, and then Aditi and Amina, they're just like, Whoop. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. It was fun. All right, so I have to start with Harindi and Ahana. Tell us about your strategy. So we practiced walking, and we kept falling. So we were like, What if we're already on the ground? Honestly, we weren't that much better at walking. It was nice to just let loose and laugh at yourself. Even though we didn't win, it was a fun thing to do. Kanika and Priya Darshini. Uh -huh. We just kept saying one, one, one. So we always yeah. kept our stability and we thought like slow and steady would win the race. Well, Amina and Aditi nailed it. Yeah. You, guys, you guys honestly looked like you were running a marathon together. <laughs> just, it was just effortless and flowing. So what'd you guys talk about? Well, we actually just kept saying in, out, in, out the whole time so that we could keep in track which foot to you. Yeah. Great job, Aditi and Amina, for winning this challenge. You guys were miles ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, to the volleyball team, that included Ahana, oh, Aditi, and Amina. So great job. <laughs> the theme of today was healthy competition. And I loved during the volleyball game that all of you showcased that. I saw some of you step forward, helping your teammates, especially with the serving aspect, when some of you may not have been as strong as far as the three-legged race. It was wonderful that all of you kind of had your own strategies, kept in your own lane, and had that competitive edge within each other, but didn't find that you needed to worry about what the other teams were doing yeah. as well. Yeah. So great job embracing today. I thought all of you did well. I think the beach definitely helped us get out of our normal habitat and kind of being in a very lighthearted environment made us feel better no matter who won or lost. Today we started it off with a little fun at the beach, but later we're gonna hit the gym. Ooh. So get ready to pump some iron, and I'll see you then. Coming up, you can just feel your thighs burning. You're stronger than you think you are. You have to fight the pain. I kind of put my mind to that one thing, which was go for it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Are you ready? Welcome, everyone. Hi. Hi. Well, no surprises today. I told you we were gonna pump some iron and we're gonna pump some iron. Going into the fitness challenge, I was kind of excited because I, I love working out. I'm here today with my friends, Taylor and Pierre, who are gonna be working with you. Hi. Hi. We're excited to have you guys here today. We're gonna focus on some strength and conditioning, focusing on form, really building you up correctly, and then we'll go into a challenge and uh, focus on pushing you to that next level. I really want you to pay close attention, especially during the warm up, because that will translate to the challenge as well. So Taylor and Pierre, they're all yours. All right, let's do it. We're gonna head in the weight room. And you can tell when it's gonna be a hard challenge because of the equipment, just looking at it. All right, I'm gonna take my first two and we're gonna head on to the stand-up bike. 
And the step mill. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you four are gonna get on the treadmills. Ooh. We started by warming up their bodies to avoid any sort of injuries and to get their bodies warmed up, get their heart rates going, and start to really wake them up just in general before we put them into any exercises. This is not cardio. Three, two, one, amp it up to the 5.5. Remember, the mind's gonna wanna quit well before the body, okay? I feel it, yeah. Good. All right. Ah, good job. Good work. Nice work. How do you guys feel? Good? That's yeah. just the yeah. warm up. They corrected everything and like they showed you how to really do it so you don't get hurt. Back up against the back of the bench, belly button nice and tight, focusing on our breathing, holding on nice and tight and pulling yourself down so you don't lift and hurt your lower back. Posture is super important on this form. We're gonna pull down straight to our chest and releasing depth. Nice ladies, let's go 15 more. And then you're gonna go one, one. and then rack them up. There we go. Two. You're gonna give me ball slams. One, two, three, try to break it. Four. <laughs> I just loved slamming that damn ball on the ground. It was fun. It was like liberating. Like this that. works with my finger. <laughs> Rack it out completely. And 15. Done. Good job. I was enjoying the warming up. I was just like anticipating what the challenge was going to be like. All right, ladies. Now that you're all warmed up, we're going to head over to the next room and issue the challenge. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's do it. For this challenge, there's going to be two mini challenges and then one final challenge. You'll work in teams of two. The winners of the mini challenges will compete head to head in the final challenge for our last person standing. So Taylor and Pierre are going to pair you up. We'll get started. Okay. Awesome. All right. The first challenge, it's going to be a push-up challenge. So we're going to break up in teams of two. So one person on the mat and then the other person is gonna help count. And we wanna rock out as many push-ups as possible until you absolutely cannot move, okay? So we're gonna break up in two, let's get going. Let's do it, okay, so drop it all the way down. Good, take your whole body with you. We started with focusing on a modified version so that it was even, everyone was coming in at the same level. Now they're on. You can do it. You're a DD, you can do it. Seven. It was really great to bring that healthy competitiveness and to motivate each other and push ourselves to be better. Good. You know what, you focus on you, you just stare at that one ground and do you to the best of your ability. Good job. So I think that we made a pretty good team. 15. 19. Come on. Let's push for one more. There you go, watch that. There you go, watch that. There you go, she's done. <laughs> the whole challenge was just about bettering yourself and learning how to push yourself. Good job, good job. Okay. Well, I was really nervous. I was like, I don't know how to do push-ups. Shot form. All the way down. Back up, back up, back up. Good. Taylor and Pierre showed me how to do them so I didn't hurt myself. I definitely hate push-ups, like, a lot. I tried my best. I mean, there's only so many you could do. 20. You're strong. You know you're strong. Damn, girl. 10. 18. 19. 20. Woo! 21. 22. Priya Shini is really into her fitness. Working out for her is equivalent to her succeeding in life. 27. Seriously? I wasn't focused on anything else. I kind of put my mind to that one thing, which was go for it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh wow, she did 40? Yeah. So we're going to take these, we're going to put them right around our ankles. And we're going to go into a jump squat, OK? So you're going to hold on to your handles, push out into that squat position, jumping back in. Got it? OK, yes. The next challenge we did was the squat challenge, which personally is my favorite. As many as you yeah. can do. All right, you guys ready to count? Yeah. Yes. OK. Go. There 20. 21. You're stronger than you think you are. You have to fight the pain. Freaking 40. This hurts. It hurts, but you know what's going to be amazing? Winning this is going to be amazing. Now, everybody at the bottom, pause, hold. Last one standing. He's going to win this one. Oh, I can't. Pause. Oh, oh, oh what else? Too much. 
Pause. Okay. Oh my god, you could just feel your thighs burning. So I was sitting in my squat and my whole body was vibrating. <laughs> just hold on. It was really fun competing with the other girls. We all have different strengths and we're all in different places on a fitness journey. And we're going back into it. Okay. All right. The next part of the challenge was facing whoever was left. And it was Aditi and I. Same squats, no bands, solid form. Okay, pull your core nice and tight. So you're gonna come out and in and out and in. Okay, no stopping all the way through. Whoever's still going wins this challenge. All right. Hey, are you gonna bring it? Are you gonna Good bring luck. it? You wait and watch. Go. And go. Beast. You're a Didi the Beast. I am a beast. Having the chance to compete against her was really great because I knew I was competing against someone who was going to bring it, and that forced me to bring out the best in myself. Don't think about the pain. Don't think about the pain. There's no pain. There's no pain. There's no pain. I want to just focus on my breathing because I do have asthma problems. I was breathing very heavily, so I know Kanika kept on telling me, just breathe in and breathe out. 65. Come on. And they really like put everything that they had. 76, got this. They really did 110%. Don't worry about the next person next to you. Come on, just focus on yourself. Keep pushing through. 87, that's it. 88, that's it. 89. All of us were like practically dying, and she was like, she was still going at it. 99, got this. 100, just keep going. You can do it. Done. Done. The point of that whole challenge was to see if you would quit or not. Good job. Rest, breathe. I just wanted to prove to myself to prove my mettle. You want me to get you some water? Yeah, I'll get you some water. That was so good, you guys. You beast. Amazing job, everyone. And thank you so much for helping our ladies. They really motivated each other, and they were team players. And because of that, they were able to feel that support to know that they could take it a little bit further. We had two mini challenges. The first winner of that mini challenge was Priya Darshini. And the second winner of that mini challenge was Priya Darshini. There was supposed to be a third challenge, but Priya Darshini had won two of them, so then we didn't have to do the third one. You're clearly the winner of this challenge. She's a strong person. She works out a lot, and she is physically very, very strong. So when she won, I was so happy for her because she deserved it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Such <laughs> great work. I won the challenge. <laughs> Finally. Priya Darshini, I felt like you were really in the zone. This is your jam. How do you feel? Um, I feel good. I had asthma growing up as a little kid, and I was also bullied a lot during school for being short and stubby and whatnot, and fitness really helped me get over that. I created a confidence. It gave me goals that I can achieve, but I also want to congratulate my fellow contestants, especially Aditi. I know you have an injury and it was really hard for you, but you gave some tough competition. And thank you, Kanika, my partner, for motivating me. <laughs> Great All of you did a great job, and Priya Darshini, whoever may have made those comments to you, you certainly proved them wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So be proud and enjoy this win. Thank you. Amazing, amazing job, everyone. This was probably our toughest challenge, even aside from the boot camp, I would say. This is definitely harder. Thank you so much, Taylor and Thank Pierre, for having us today. We so appreciated your time. Ladies, great day. Get some rest tonight, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow for our swimsuit challenge. Right. The final challenge this week is the swimsuit challenge, and it's definitely nerve-wracking. I mean, it's not common for me or anyone to really have our whole bodies on display. I'm not ready. Coming up. You don't have to look a certain way to be beautiful. Just for funsies, let me see you do this. There it is. The final challenge for the week was the swimsuit challenge and we knew it was coming up. How are you today? Good. 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 It was kind of exposing for me because I had never bought a bikini before. Today is also a difficult day for me. It reminds me of my journey. I myself lost over 55 pounds on my path to health and fitness and I have to be honest, it's a lifelong journey. That being said, 
The first challenge is just being here, so <laughs> you're already here. And I want to introduce to you one of my friends and experts that you've already met. Please welcome Miss Kelsey Griswold. Hi guys. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? You look good. Oh. You guys look amazing. How are we feeling? Vulnerable. A little, a little vulnerable. Well, yeah. I think that's a perfect place to start. Most people that watch pageants, they don't understand that this is a really deep place of who we are to expose this piece of us. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the importance of swimsuit in the pageant. We actually call it lifestyle and fitness. And that means that this is a representation of our lifestyle, about how we live our daily life about what we eat every single day, about how we work out, and how we present ourselves to the general public. Now, I have had a bit of a transition with this phase of the competition. I struggled with an eating disorder, and I have struggled with an eating disorder since I was a freshman in high school. And this is a part of me where I look in the mirror and I have extreme body dysmorphia, and I think really bad thoughts about myself. What was crazy about it was competing for Miss America was the chance for me to confront those demons head on. This portion of the competition, you have to eliminate every doubt about yourself. The minute you walk into that stage, you own every piece of who you are. It's okay that these jiggle. It's okay that there's fat. Our bodies were made this way and we should celebrate that. And I think that's why this portion of the competition is so important. Her message was so powerful. I'm not gonna lie, I almost did cry. I might have cried a little bit. We're so exposed that you can't hide it from anyone. We can't just run off of other people's opinions of us. Those aren't the nutrients that we need. Your stories were amazing and it was good to hear. She loves who she is. It took a while for her to get there, but she's there. So at Miss America, on preliminary night of competition, there was like boxes of cupcakes everywhere. All the girls are like, oh my gosh, I wish I could have it. And right before I walked on stage, I took a cupcake and I shoved it in my mouth and I just kept walking. And every girl looked at me and they're like, what are you doing? I felt like if I didn't fuel my body in that way, I wouldn't give the spark that I needed. And that night I won swimsuit. Not because I was the skinniest, but I was having so much fun. So that's the point of this portion of the competition for me. It's about celebration. Her speech gave every single one of us more confidence. Honestly, I think every single person in this room needed to hear that, so thank you for sharing your heart with us. The swimsuit competition is very important because the person in the swimsuit is like, look, everyone, like this is my body. I am not gonna apologize for it. Okay, ladies, are we ready? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm so excited, okay. Let's do this. All right, so I really do want to talk a little bit about walking for your body and posing for your body. Everybody's body is different, and so I don't want us all to be posing the same way. For those of you that are a little bit thinner, I think that that is okay for you to kind of give a little bit more spice, a little bit more curvature. Find your light and just stand in this line, kind of line up with me. So I want us all to kind of start looking at our bodies. When it comes to pageantry, we are presenting our absolute best selves. I think it takes baby steps. <laughs> For me, that step of just like people looking at me and I'm like exposed is a big step. For funsies, let me see you do this. Come on. You just look like a bodybuilder now. Come on, you look good. Think about the different places that you like about your body. This part of me is attractive to me. Maybe not to everyone else, but I like it. All of this is in the midst of your walk. So once you stop, you can pose here, step back, Hit whatever makes you feel most confident. Do not do these poses if you don't feel confident. You are the queen of your castle. Nobody can get you. The poses that she showed us, it was to like show off your body rather than hide your flaws. Okay, ladies, everybody, down on the ground, I want you to watch. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing some of you do. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I'm seeing you guys do. This is what I see you guys doing. And this is what I need you to do. Now, in the mirror, I don't think that looks good. But I know from experience that this is defined, that you can see these muscles. You're not trying to look skinny. The skinny girls that, are, that go to Miss America, they have the naturally skinny bodies, everyone's so jealous of them. I've rarely seen them win the swimsuit portion of the competition. Most bodies, they look normal. Imperfection is what makes you perfect. Imperfection is what makes you a winner. Enough inspirational talk. Let's let everybody stand up. Everybody line up with me. I mean, we all have these insecurities, so the point is to just embrace it. You are gonna strut 
work, work, work. That's right. You wish you were me. And then you just keep going. And like, did I look perfect? No. You are stupid beautiful. They are so lucky they get to watch you. She didn't just say, suck it in. She was like, carry yourself in a confident way because it's who you are and you should be proud of that. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, and strut. Strut, and hit it, and pose. Yeah, that's right. And turn, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh. I can literally drown <laughs> in the sass. So I think it's time to move on to the competition portion. Here's our next challenge. I feel like it's something that we should talk more about. You don't have to look a certain way to be beautiful. Hi, ladies. Hi. How was your time with Kelsey? Great. It was fun. Get some good tips? Yes. Awesome. She's fabulous. For this challenge, we're going to have you start from the back of the gym, walking right up to the front, and posing for what you think is the best for your body type and what you want to highlight. More importantly, we just want to see you have fun. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Great. Well, Kelsey, come on out. <laughs> She's going to help me with this one as well. Ahana, you're up first. What makes you feel most beautiful? I feel really good when I'm swinging, like on swings. I love like having my body soar through the air. I love having my hair like float back. That's the greatest thing I've ever heard. Thank you. Thank you so much. I like that way. Hey. That was awkward. Hey. She did a hip thing because that's what can get us. How'd you feel? It felt, it felt liberating. This, this is something I'm not comfortable with, honestly. Your speech was really inspiring. It's something I battled with growing up. Thank you. Thank you. You're amazing. Thanks, Thank Thanks you guys. Thanks, Thank you. you. I'm not ready. Hey. So what does beauty mean to you? Showing off the things you love the most about yourself. And what's that for you? What do you most like I'd about say yourself? my smile. Your smile? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Awesome. Thanks, Amina. Yeah, thank you. thank you. During the swimsuit challenge, I was super nervous. My heart was pounding. I felt like I was just going to fall out of my body. Yay! Oh, yeah. yeah. There it is. There's so much sass. <laughs> How'd you feel? Um, I've never actually bought a bikini before this, and I've had a lot of issues growing up with my body image. I know being South Asian, it isn't always accepted um, to be able to wear a bikini. Um, oftentimes, they think it's a mark of bad character. I personally was um, slut shamed for my extended family. Seeing myself in the mirror for the first time in a bikini, it made me feel like I could be free, and that every person that told me that I wasn't good enough, I don't care, because I am who I am, whether you like it or not. Karine D, work it, girl. Should I just take this off? Dude, <laughs> swing it around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Karine D, how did you feel? I mean, you took off your sarong and everything. You were, you were in it. I think the one part of my body that I don't like is like right here and right here. And I thought, since I'm gonna do it anyway, let us all go all the way. It was just you being like, own it, just own yourself. You definitely owned yourself, and I loved watching you walk. I'd never been so comfortable in my own skin before, and I just felt happy that I keep gaining more confidence. Great job, Harini. Thank you. Hey, Aditi. Being a South Asian woman, you're told from a really young age that you need to cover up, you need to not show off your body. So it's really nerve wracking. <laughs> it's so liberating to just be me. Oh my God! <laughs> just my God! <laughs> Killed it. She was like, boom, I'm here. Aditi's arrived. Where did that come from? 
Well, I remember what you were talking about earlier when you talked about your own struggles with an eating disorder and the things that you said reflected my own experiences and over time I've learned to accept my body for the way it is and I know it's going to change. It's not the same way it was last year and it's not going to be the same in five years or ten years or fifty years but it's amazing because my body is so strong and I am I'm a badass person and doing that it just showed me just shedding the insecurities and I'm so emotional right now but I just want to say thank you I think your speech earlier really gave me that confidence to do what I just did and I'm really I'm gonna remember it for a really long time when she talked about posing to look healthy and show the world that you take care of yourself that was the first time I had ever heard of something like that you're an overcomer all of you are overcomers. Today you did something really special. I could not be more proud. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for Great sharing job. your soul. She showed that she is confident in who she is and she broke out of that shell. I think we all broke out of our shell. It was something that not many of us wanted to do, but we all leaned on each other and that helped a lot. Amazing job, ladies, and Kelsey, thank you so much for sharing your story. I think every single person, when they walked down here and we asked how they felt, they said, thank you for sharing your story because I felt that. And that was really the whole purpose of this challenge, is to allow yourself to be vulnerable, and I hope you carry that forward. You all know that there's always a twist. <laughs> so Kelsey and I are gonna chat for a little bit. Get comfortable if you're not already, and we'll see you back soon. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hey, Nina. All right, Kelsey, let's talk. <laughs> a pretty extraordinary challenge. I think they really embraced everything that you had said. Obviously, this challenge, we knew going in that it wasn't necessarily about the walk itself. We really wanted for them to shed that layer and talk about how they felt. How do you think the group did overall? You know, I watched them during the practice of it, and I'm watching them kind of formulate like an opinion about their bodies that isn't just solidly negative. And I watched them find out like, oh, I do love this part. Oh, I do love this part. Oh, I do love this part. So that was really inspiring to me to watch that happen. I think as we were really talking to them, they connected with your story. And that was the whole point was for them to be inspired by what you were saying, not the way that you were posing. And I definitely saw each one of them do exactly that. I think there was certainly one person who stood out. It wasn't like she nailed the walk. She nailed everything. She just walked in, she just owned every piece of her. I didn't teach that. You had that in you. I was inspired. Yeah. I think we have a clear winner. Hi, ladies. Hi. Take a deep breath, last challenge of the week. How do you guys feel? Proud. New. Liberated. Yeah. Re liberated, rejuvenated. All of the above. All of the above. This was 100% the first time I saw majority of you being actually real and authentic. So I'm really, really glad we got to that place. Thanks to Miss Kelsey <laughs> for bringing it out in you because I knew it was there all along. This challenge was really not about the walk at all. We could have cared less. I mean, you guys all did a great job, but we really wanted to see where you were at after walking. You all did such a wonderful job. I'm so thankful to be able to witness such a blossoming of every single one of you. The one that we chose for this week, she just owned who she was in every possible way. I feel like that's the biggest portion of why we do swimsuit. We're showcasing exactly who we are. We cannot hide. The winner for this challenge is... Coming up. <laughs> it's supposed to just be a fun boat ride for us. I mean, you have a strong personality. My intention was not to hurt anybody, but can you see that we're hurt? You guys all did a great job and you really did work it and we're happy that you own that. But we really wanted to see where you were at after walking. The one that we chose for this week, she just owned who she was in every possible way. The winner for this challenge is... Aditi. Aditi. <laughs> So Aditi won the challenge, no surprise there, because she was bold. She was bold. Congratulations, Aditi. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you for giving me that confidence that, that I really needed. You had that in you the entire time. If somebody with a lot of self-loathing and self-hatred is posing with extreme confidence, then that is some fighting in them. You see a warrior in them, and I saw some warriors today. I'm just thankful that 
Anything that I had to say was an awakening for all of you. I didn't just see it in Aditi. I saw it in every single one of you, but you executed, you were brave, and I'm proud. Can we all please give a huge round of applause, hugs, whatever you need to Kelsey, because she has to leave, sadly. But please thank her for coming. I know we all loved having you. Thank you. Thank you, Kelsey. I love you, ladies. I'll be seeing you. It was definitely the hardest challenge, and I think it was the best challenge. Another week means another winner for the one-on-one. -on -one. First of all, amazing job for stepping up your games. This week went by so fast, Harindi. Yeah. <laughs> Just to recap, if you will step forward, please. The beach volleyball winners, Aditi, Amina, and Ahana. You guys really worked well together as a team and really encouraged each other along the way. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> then we had the three-legged race, Aditi and Amina. You really worked together. I don't know if you had a strategy before or what it was, or you guys were just in sync, but it worked. Okay. Head out, head out, head out, head out. Head out. Head out. Head out. Head For the third challenge, we had the fitness challenge, and the winner of that was Priyadarshini. She was not going to quit, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Come on, you got it. You have to keep pushing through. The fourth challenge, we had the swimsuit walk, but really more than that, and the winner of that was a DP. Congratulations. Thank you. The winner this week really embraced healthy competition. She was not only motivated herself, but she motivated her teammates, everyone around her, and she also just embodied being herself, and we couldn't have asked for more. The winner of this week is <laughs> Congratulations! So proud of you. So well deserved. <laughs> Thank you so much for seeing who I was and for accepting that. I'm so proud of Aditi for winning the challenge. She deserved it. Her indeed. You gotta pass it on. <laughs> I wouldn't want to give it to anybody else. Amazing job. Aditi, come up here. <laughs> Amazing job, everyone. And Aditi, you and I are going to get to hang out again. Yay. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Good job, Aditi. <laughs> Congratulations, Aditi. Thank you. How are you feeling? Honestly, I can't even believe that I won. I mean, these girls were so amazing all week. And this is your second time back here. And I feel the first time, you know, we're still kind of getting into the groove of things. I know we're pretty far along in the competition. So how are you feeling? There are just so many emotions that I am feeling right now. But this competition is forcing me to face those emotions and those insecurities head on. And I feel like I've really grown since the beginning of this competition to where I am now. And I just, I can't wait to see where I'll be at the end of it. Honestly, it's yours to take because I've seen you start believing. Like I've just seen a totally new side of you and I'm so happy to see that because you're amazing. The longer I'm here, I just feel like I'm unstoppable now. You have so much potential and now that you know that, I mean, you're gonna go so far. You have such a quiet confidence about you and people look up to you and I see that happening, but I don't know if you necessarily have realized that. I wanna put this in perspective for you. No matter where you place in this competition, what happens from here on out, remember that there's gonna be those young girls that you're gonna meet after this and beyond who are gonna say, I loved you because of X, Y, and Z. That's a big deal. Don't forget the amount of influence you're gonna have beyond this. Just think about those little girls that you're gonna to get to mentor. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna remember that. <laughs> I'm sorry we have to wrap up, but good luck, Aditi. Thank I'm you. so incredibly proud of you. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see you next week. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the evening. I will. Thank you. Go Thank celebrate. you so much. I will. <laughs> Bye. So after my one-on-one -on -one time with Nina, she had us all come out to the marina. Which one do you think is ours? Um, probably the one that Nina's standing well, next to. Going. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. You look lovely. As do you. You all came dressed to the nines and tens. <laughs> You've all been doing so well. I wanted you to have some time to let loose and relax. I'm sending you on a sunset cruise. Oh, my gosh. That is so oh, nice. Thank you. And this is for you to just have fun and just enjoy your time together. So, ladies, welcome aboard. There's no challenge, there's no twist. 
It's supposed to just be a fun boat ride for us. It is so beautiful. <laughs> I feel like I'm flying. There's like a nice platter of fruit and cheese and drinks for us. Now you guys can start eating. The view is just gorgeous. Aww. And it's so pretty. Imagine living here. All fun and games not, until worry. someone loses an eye. Ready for the pot? Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> oh! Going on the cruise, it was just great to just unwind and just have fun. Cheers, guys! Cheers! Cheers. To first Nina. Yes. yes. To new friends. Yes. And, and this new journey. Yeah, that and we're about to face together. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's have a fun night. All right, ladies. So, what is your type in terms of boys? That's I like good. a really smart guy. Like, if you know stuff, I'm just like, hello. He has to be respectful. He has to be loyal. Both ways, not just I want this from him. I have to give that back. What about of each other? What do you mean, each other? You know how you asked the question before, like, what did you first think when you met that oh, girl? Yeah. First impressions? Yeah, first Let's impression. do it. I remember my first impression of you because you were like, well, one, you were like loud and bouncing around everywhere. <laughs> I'm still so loud and bouncing around. Okay. Is that like annoying though to you guys? No, no, it's nice. It, it gives you character. character. Okay, let's do Priya next. <laughs> do it, do it. I mean, you have a strong personality. Sometimes it comes across, is it threatening at times? Is it not? I don't, I don't know. There are certain things that my personality, I'm not used to. Like I said, yeah. I grew up, I had to be mature at a young age. Sometimes right? it feels like, like you group yourself in one category and the rest of us in another category. I do think that I have different priorities. Don't, please don't say you have different priorities. We all want to do well. Absolutely. I know you're, you're referring to the 21, 22 year olds who like to go out and right. you don't like to do that. Right. And that might bother you a little bit. It does bother me, but I've never once complained to you guys about it. I've dealt with it. Please don't tell me right now and lie on my face that you haven't been talking to others yeah. about the problems that you're having with us because I don't believe that. I heard other people talking about things that Priya Darshini had said about the group. First of all, we haven't gone out very much, but like every time we do, I ask you if you're comfortable, I ask if it's okay. There has been a lot of trust issues and it's been pretty clear who's been violating that trust. I don't think I'm also seeing the whole of Priya Darshini. Over the past couple of weeks, like I know every single one of you guys and I know like your personalities are like at least bits and pieces of it. I just, I, I feel like I don't know who you are. Well, it's not the fact that I I think I'm high and mighty. That's a yeah. misrepresentation. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Even if I feel like maybe they don't understand me, I've tried to understand each and every one yeah. of you. But I feel like when I walk through rooms and I hear things, I'm like, oh, this is what they really think. We're finally saying honest things to each other to our faces and not behind our backs. Guys, whenever we ever, I've heard things like, I'm so experienced or I have so much knowledge, why am I here? I yeah, asked I, that I, to your face. I that did, was a question I said, that I asked yeah, you. Yeah, I said that. Because that I genuinely wanted to, to know. Right, and I think that was a little rude. I think there are situations where they think that I'm above them and they put that blame on me. I heard other things like, I think she's overconfident or whatever the situation. So I was personally hurt. I feel like over the past couple of weeks, like I've grown to like you more as a person. So when I find out that like things are being said about me, like, if anything, now that we're getting closer, you should be able to like tell me. My intention was not to hurt anybody. Mother but can you see that we're hurt? They didn't want to listen to me. They just wanted to complain and attack me. Okay, so I'm sorry that you feel hurt by my opinions. My that was not it, my. It's not your opinion. It's just me... that you can't tell us your opinion. It's that we have. I mean, to hear that's it. something that I can choose to keep to myself. I'm sure everyone has an opinion. Like, what do you think that we're upset about? Because I feel like I keep I telling think... you what I'm upset about, and you keep missing the point. I... I'm on. Made in America. This no, conversation I think you is guys healthy. Do care because that's why everyone's at this point no, attacking me for having We're not it. attacking. No. I don't feel like anyone's trying to understand me. Girls were going out till late at night. Is that true? Uh huh. Don't you get that? Like sometimes it's a, it's a domino effect. We are going to be making packets to give the homeless. All right. Hi. Hi. Your challenge is to create a new campaign for Prepin. I don't think I would pick that violent of a topic. This weekly winner, we're gonna do something a little different. Are you guys ready? 